All right, Shalom, first and foremost, only give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace, love, and salutation to all you Akim that's pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. I'm going to start off from Revelation chapter 11, verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And that's when the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be beamed up into what people call uh, UFO. UFOs, they're the chariots of God, the chariots of Israel, all right? And their enemies, all right, the other nations, Esau, Edom, and two-thirds of our people, Lord willing, are going to behold us getting beamed up into this cloud, this uh, chariot, all right? That goes into... Um, Isaiah 26 and 20, where it talks about hiding the chambers to the indignation pass. And we're coming to this time right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read an article and um, it's linking up with these scriptures. And the same hour, what, there was a great earthquake that goes into the, the, the earth reeling to and fold like a drunkard in Isaiah 24 and 20. And the 10th part of the city fell. That's talking about America because America has 10 FEMA zones, 10 FEMA zones, 10 regions. And in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand. That's just a completion of number. And the remnant of the of the remnant, the Israelites, the elect of the Israelites, were frightened and gave glory to the most high of heaven. That's because the scripture in first Peter four and what seventeen says the righteous shall scarcely be saved. All right, here's the point. The second world is past. World war this this refers to world wars. All right. You got World War One in Revelation the ninth chapter. Then you have World War II, and we're coming upon World War III. All these little wars and rumors of wars that you see going on right now, we're heading into World War III. We're damn near in World War III. The second war is passed, World War I, World War II, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And we're in that time where the third woe, World War III, is coming quickly. So I'm going to get into this article that the bishop put in the group text. The Bishop of Tazawam, his uh, page is uh, GMS. Atlanta devout servants, you know, subscribe to the, the bishop's page if you haven't. It says, Texas holds week-long nuclear training exercise led by FBI involving military. Now, why would they be doing that? Because the scriptures say that the third world cometh quickly. And this is for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that's waking up to the fact that you're a Hebrew Israelite. This isn't, this isn't for black people. This isn't for Mexicans. This isn't for Puerto Ricans who don't know no better. This is for brothers and sisters in the faith who are learning this sound doctrine. So it says FBI Houston says multi-agency nuclear incident training exercise will include military personnel and aircraft in the Texas city. It says a large scale multi-agency nuclear incident training exercise will take place May 1st. Now today is May 1st which is known as May Day, because today on um, May 1st, I believe it's 1776, was the inception of the Illuminati. And who knows what might happen today, you know, if anything does happen. So it says the training exercise will take place May the 1st through the 5th in Southeast Houston and Harris County. The training exercise will not pose risk to area residents. Please do not be a be alarmed by training related activity. FBI Houston tweeted Friday. And these people, man, they, they give them some bread and circus or some type of distraction. They're not they're They don't really give a damn. You know, they don't. They, these people don't know that there's war still going on in Ukraine. These people don't know about the conflict between the United States and China over Taiwan. They don't they don't see what's going on with the uh, uproars of the people and the sedition in Sudan. All right. These people live in their basic watered down degenerate American lifestyle over here in Babylon the Great. So these people, they, they're not paying attention to what's going on, man, especially Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The training exercise will take from in and around NRG Park, all right, and Interstate 10. Um, it says, please do not be alarmed by training-related activity, including presence of military personnel, aircraft, and people in protective equipment, the FBI said. Man, and you know what, too? You know, they might be training for nuclear tech, but they're training to lock you people down. All right. When this next pandemic comes or this boogeyman is scared to pass off you people 
or some type of attack, some type of cyber attack or lights going out. Best believe the military is going to be set up. They have the, you know, the, the scripture. I went into the scripture about the, the 10th part of the city fell in Revelation 11. Well, it went into those uh, FEMA zones. There's 10 FEMA zones or 10 regions here in America. They got enough of them to lock you people down. And rightfully so. You can see why these people need to get locked down, man. Scriptures say pride go up before destruction. These people are prideful, man. All right. You give them a, you give them a, a cell phone and an Instagram page and they're just king shit. Excuse my Brazilian Portuguese. So the government is also doing these drills, too. All right. To come in with these foreign troops that they're working with as well. All right. To lock you people down. But we're in that time. We're in that time of World War Three. We're in a time of uh, martial law. We're in, a we're in a time of famine. And our people don't see it as so. They're going to find out the hard way. They're going to figure out death by pain. Like it says in 2nd Ezra uh, 8 and 50. So it says, Last May, the United States Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration led a similar major radiological incident exercise in Austin, Texas. So somebody would be like, whoa, well, they had it last year. Well, they're amping it up. All right? And there's a lot of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and Mexicans in Houston, Texas. I bet the prophets know about this down there in Houston, Texas, man. A well, great majority of our people, man, they don't know what the hell is going on. Let me get a precept. I don't want to ramble. This is one of my favorite ones when it comes to our people, man. All right, Jeremiah 8 and 7, I believe. Jeremiah 8 and 7. Yea, the stork in the heaven know for appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow, a swallow is a bird, observe the time of their coming, but my people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, know not the judgment of the Lord. The Lord is going to destroy Babylon the Great. It's written all over the Bible, not according to my words. It's according to the words of the Bible. And when you have the understanding to break it down, you impart it to the people. But majority of our people, they're not paying attention because they don't know they don't know the judgment of the Lord. Right? So our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Meanwhile, this is going on in your back 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 um backyard. The exercise took place, where was I at? More than 30 local state and federal agencies were said to have taken part in an exercise called Cobalt Magnet 22 from May 16th to uh, May 22nd. The exercise took place at various locations around Austin and was meant to simulate a radiological attack, enabling response personnel to practice protecting public health and safety, providing emergency relief to affected populations and restoring essential services. It says the FBI, FBI public advisory Friday came before the same FBI Houston field office began, began assisting in the manhunt for a Mexican national accused of murdering five people in Cleveland, Texas. All right. And they're also going to make um, you Israelites the face of terrorism out here, man. All right. Whether this be a psyop or not, I believe it's a psyop. You know, you can't believe anything on the news. All right, let me get a scripture on that. You know, you can't believe anything this man, this devil says, man. You can't even you can't even trust him with the weather, man. This 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 nigga will say it rain one day, it'd be a completely sunny day, seventy six with a low gust of wind, no clouds in sight. But this nigga said it was gonna rain. All right, this nigga Esau eat him. All right, Second Corinthians two and eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. What is Esau really doing out there in Houston, Texas, man, with these exercises that he got going on today through the fifth, right? Even these so-called white people know that something's going on with the beloved uh, Babylon the Great. But our people don't know the judgment of the Lord, man. It's about to get serious out here, all right? So that's basically it on that. Let me read it from the top. Texas City holds week-long nuclear training exercise led by FBI evolving military. We're in that time of World War III. All right? Let's get another scripture on prophecy. Let's go to Jeremiah 51. Excuse me. Jeremiah, the 51st chapter. I think verse 11. Jeremiah 51 and 11, make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. That's going into the Russians. You know, Vladimir Putin, 
you know, it seems like he can get, never get out of office, man, because that's the right guy to, to, to do the job, man, right? To do what? For his devices against Babylon to destroy it. All right, the Lord put this is going to put the spirit on Vladimir Putin or whoever's in there. I'm guessing it's going to be Vladimir Putin because he's, 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 he's been running for president for a long time, man, right? Keeps getting reelected over and over again in uh, Russia. It says, because it is the vengeance of the Lord. The Lord's vengeance is, is to destroy Babylon the Great. For you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who don't know, you're not going to get this in the Christian church, man. Those so-called crazy guys that's on the highways with the so-called dresses, they're telling you what's really going on. But it's only meant for those who the Lord put the spirit on to, to, to know. It says, the vengeance of his temple. All right? It says, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen, prepare the ambushes, for the Lord have both devised and done that what she spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. And the Lord is going to put Russia and all these other nations, going back to Jeremiah, um, the 50th chapter. Let's go to Jeremiah um, 50 and 9. That's why it's called World War Three. Now, there's going to be different areas like Israel, according to the scriptures, that's going to be destroyed because that place got to go, man. The, the A-team, Amalek, is over there causing a ruckus, right? That place has to be cleansed before the Israelites go back. There's many passages in the Bible about the Israelites going back to their land. Those people those people right now, if you think about it, those guys that say that they're cho God's chosen people, why is the war going on in the, on the Gaza Strip? Why are, you, why are you having tensions with Iran? We're in these times, man, where the, the real Israelites are being revealed and those imposters, they're about to go to war, all right? Those Israelis over there are going to go to war with Iran. They're going to attack Iran. It's, it's been noted in Jeremiah 49 and 20, the pre previous chapter. So it says, um, Jeremiah 59, for lo, I will raise and cause, up, cause to come up against Babylon, America, by ball. When you got a 60-year-old man that wants to be a 60-year-old girl, that's confusion, man. All right, when you got a woman that's looking straight up like a man, do-rag, Baseball fitted, Tim's, Chuck's, but that's a whole woman, all right, trying to hide her titties, trying to tape up her titties. That's confusion. When a man got a five o'clock shadow, and he's walking around with a dress, identify himself as a woman, that's confusion. That alone should get this place destroyed, man. For Lord, I will raise and calls up to come up against Babylon and assembly of great nations, Russia and other nations. Even the United States allies is going to come up against them from the north country and they shall set themselves in array against her with what with missiles not a volcano their arrow shall be as of a mighty expert man none shall return in vain so like a perfect marksman hits his perfect target with arrows that's how the lord is going to put the spirit on these other nations to send missiles over to the united states and it talks about babylon the great will be destroyed in one hour let's get that one and close it on out because this is the good news no more getting up early to go work a job with assholes that you hate. They give you this little 30 minute lunch break. All right. They talk to you like you're a fifth grader. Then you got to pay bills with money that you don't have. You got to be subject to payments. You got to be the, the, the bottom of the nation. You go inside a liquor store and these people look at you like you about to rob it. All right. We're not going to be a pro a reproach and a curse anymore. That's going to be for our enemies. According to Deuteronomy 30 and seven. That's the good news. Why would you want to be at the bottom? This is uh, Revelation 18, I think it's 11. Um, I'm going to end it off on this. Revelation 18 and 10. Standing afar off for the fear. I'm gonna, let me just jump up. Revelation 18 and 6. Reward her, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she have filled filled to her double how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart i sit a queen and am the widow and shall see no sorrow that's that's the quintessential thought of the americans especially edomites and these jakes especially these so-called negroes they believe that the united states is just untouchable unfuck -wittable. It can't get touched. I'm just going to sit over here and we just going to be over here. America, and that's it. No. 
The scriptures prophesy about the downfall of this place. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. All right. One of the major plagues that's coming to here is Zephaniah 14 and 12, the thermonuclear missiles. If you don't know those scriptures, then I suggest just looking them up because it's precept upon precept. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning. Because the people over here, Lord willing, we get delivered, man. It, 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 you ain't, ain't going to be no radioactive uh, post-society. That's what Esau puts in his movies, but he's under a strong delusion, man. All right. This nigga's under a strong delusion. Think he going to go to Mars. This nigga ain't made it out of what? The Van, Van, uh, Van Allen belt. And this man's telling you, yeah, we made it to the moon. It says, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. Those intercontinental ballistic missiles for strong is the Lord God who judges her. This is all the will of the Lord. This is not us doing it. All right. Because the persecution is coming, they're going to try to pin some little petty stuff on us, man. We're not involved with any type, any type of uh, violent acts, man. We're just, we're, just give, we're just reading you your rights, Esau, Edom, because you're running Babylon the Great. And you're running the world. The scriptures say the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her. All these nations that join into the philosophies of America, like democracy, LGBTQ. All of a sudden, they got a Starbucks and McDonald's in their in they homeland. All right, the women are driving because women can't drive, especially old white women. They cannot drive. Oh, man. But all these philosophies that Babylon is spreading out here, these nations have adapted it. They've even legalized same-sex marriages in India, man. All right. These, these, these other nations that came over here to make money off Babylon the Great, you know, they, they opened up a, a shop in the black neighborhood. They had a video that resurfaced of how Moab, the so-called Chinese, how they only set up in so-called black neighborhoods. I wonder why, you know. But these other nations ain't going to be able to come over here and make money once this place is destroyed and gone. Ain't going to be no uh, quickie marks over here when Babylon is destroyed. Revelation 18. And um, I'm going to continue with nine. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Yeah, because they ain't going to be able to make no money off this place no more. Standing afar off. For the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. One hour, this place is going to be gone, man. So, hey, we're, we're getting closer and closer when you start to see articles like this, man. Nuclear training exercise led, led by the FBI. They're not telling you people what it is, but the service of prophets are telling you what it is. So with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Shalom and the Baba Ball.